For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The historic farmer struggle in India completed six months on Wednesday, May 26th. The nationwide call given by the Sangyukt Kisan Morcha or the Joint Farmers Front was supported by various progressive organizations including the Communist Party of India Marxist, Students Federation of India, Democratic Youth Federation of India and the All India Democratic Women's Association. Farmers have been mobilizing on the borders of Delhi, braving harsh weather and police repression. They continue to demand for the rollback of the three farm laws passed last year by the far-right Bharatiya Janata Party government. Farmers have time and again pointed out that the laws will drive down prices that they are likely to get for their produce. Farmers also claim that the laws would enable the complete takeover of agriculture by corporate agribusinesses and big traders. Tens of thousands of farmers across the country marked the protest by raising black flags and burning effigies of BJP leaders on May 26th. Opposition groups are also protesting the mishandling of the pandemic by the central government. The second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic is a disastrous one for India, where thousands continue to die on a daily basis. The organizations put forward some key demands in a statement, which includes Use the massive funds collected under PM Cares, a specialized COVID relief fund for providing oxygen, ventilators, medicines and hospital beds. Stop the Central Vista project and redirect its funds for the same purpose. The project involves the raising down of older capital buildings and the construction of new ones, including a new parliament and a prime minister residence, to the tune of approximately 1.8 billion US dollars. Make treatment for COVID-19 free and also provide free and universal vaccination. Strictly regulate private hospitals and prevent the fleecing of patients with exorbitant bills. Allocate substantial funds for strengthening the public health system. Immediately transfer 7,500 rupees, which is around 100 US dollars, to low income families below the income tax bracket. And provide 10 kilograms of free food grains to all who need it for six months, along with essential items like pulses, oil, and sugar through the public distribution system. Samyukto Kisan Morcha and Central Trade Unions, along with SFI, IDUA and DYFI gave a nationwide call, protest call to observe May 26 on marking the sixth month of historic farmers' protest in India. And it's also the seventh anniversary of the inhuman Modi Raj. And in this protest call, lakhs of people participate in this call and we'd like to congratulate all of them. And all the people from Kashmir to Kanyakumarika, from Kutch to Kohima, they have participated. It's historic, undoubtedly. And especially if they are protesting against this corporate and Hindu, Hindutva nexus. This nexus is trying to destroy everything in, our, in, the, in India. And especially their cruel behavior, this cruel attitude is opened, revealed in this pandemic situation. People are dying rampantly, a lack of oxygen, beds, and this is a, and government is completely reluctant. They are not busy to build, uh, I mean, statues and central vista using crores, thousands of crores of uh, uh, rupees. And in this situation, we also demand, we demand that free vaccination for all, which is a legacy of, of uh, India, uh, I mean, this independent India. And we also demand monetary help for the needy. We demand that provide, uh, we, we, uh, government must provide this free, uh, free vaccination and healthcare facilities to everyone and with this all these demands there are so many demands are there this change demands actually we are protesting and the and voice of dissent is increasing every day in our country against this modi raj and we built it is much more uh, gathering and after this uh, pandemic is over and they it will it will it will remove this modi raj from their from their from their power we believe that and we again we salute the, all of all people who participate in this protest it's undoubtedly a historic farmers organizations have reiterated that they will not back down until the regressive farm laws are revoked as the struggle continues more protests are expected soon